Morning everyone and welcome back to far north Queensland. Today I'm just near Port Douglas about 15 minutes out of town slightly can side and then inland on Spring Creek Road. Now I'm going to be doing a hike about three kilometers up this creek to Spring Creek Falls which looks a really really impressive waterfall with a big old swimming hole. Now you can kind of see behind me about three months ago they had a pretty severe cyclone that came through here and really ripped up the place. So the creek bed has been completely rearranged. Given that this is essentially an off-track walk where you just follow the creek, that is a little bit concerning because I've got no idea what I'm going to be faced with now. Nice flow of water through the creek still, which is great, but not too much that it looks like it'll stop me getting back and forth if I need to. Anyways, let's go have a look. Now to find this spot, just chuck Spring Creek Road into your Google Maps near Port Douglas. Follow that road until pretty much the end of it. And then you get to a point where it sort of bends around sharply to the right. It's a sealed road. And then if you kind of go to the left, there's a little dirt track that leads in. And that takes you down here towards the creek. Now, if you had a four-wheel drive, you get pretty much all the way to where I am now. But it's a bit of a shitty road. So I just parked in my hire car basically at the junction. And it's only a few hundred metres walk down. Anyways, I think we're at the end of the road now. So it's going to be the hike proper start. Just after the road first and definitely not last creek crossing. Doesn't look very good going up that way. Better on this side, so we're going to head across. The notes I've read say the left-hand side of the creek is generally better, but again, those were before the cyclone, so everything could have changed. Who knows? But let's press on. The amount of, like, devastation and debris I'm walking through is quite incredible, actually. The amazing, like, power of the water that's come through is kind of a sight to behold. And fortunately, on this left side of the creek, it's actually pretty easy walking. Got a massive spider ahead of me here. Look at that big boy. Oh my God, that's the size of my hand. Anyways, yeah, so it's actually pretty easy walking. It's kind of this sort of flat, like just section of ground next to the creek, which probably once had a bit of a trail leading up because it was a fairly popular walk, but obviously the floods have just completely wiped any semblance of track out and any markers. Tell you what, if you are scared of spiders, this is not the walk for you. My God, I've seen a hundred enormous spiders just like carrying a stick in front of myself so I don't keep walking through all the cobwebs. But some big spiders up in North Queensland, you'll find out. Another point along the way where you just got this enormous floodplain sort of wiped out. I reckon it almost looks like the creek used to come through more on this side. Now it's sort of carved out a new path over there. Because all those banks look freshly destroyed. Kind of see the hills up ahead, so we're getting closer. Little bonus waterfall in the Trib Creek. Oh, starting to close in a little bit the rainforest around here. Just spectacular morning light up ahead there. Start to kind of enter into more of a gorge setting. Which means we can't be too far away. And I reckon we're gonna get some beautiful light there at the waterfall as the sun starts hitting it. Just upstream, the next little cascade. Quite an impressive looking water slide this is. And again, beautiful pools everywhere. More cascades as we go further up. Getting a bit more technical this hike now, this sort of bouldery stuff to clamber around. A lot of crisscrossing of the creek to kind of get the optimal route. If there was less water, you could probably just Play one on one side a bit easier, but with it raging through like this, a lot of the time it becomes a bit difficult on one side or the other. So this is probably the toughest point of the hike. Got to climb around this 
pretty decent sized falls. I'm going to head over the left here. I reckon that side may even be easier, potentially, but it's going to be a hassle to get back across. So we'll have a crack up this cliff here. Let's see how we go. What a side that is. Home stretch now. Well, I've made it to Spring Creek Falls. What an amazing spot. There's heaps of these big flat rocks behind me. You just hang out and have a bit of a sunbathe, although the sun's not quite hit us yet. Just a spectacular falls. The main drop here is maybe 30 or 40 metres high, but it extends way up the cliff. And you kind of just get little glimpses of portions of the upper tiers. Probably well over 100 metres in total, but yeah, just beautiful. I'm going to have a swim in a sec, and that looks bloody ideal. Something I've also just noticed here is look at these trees across the creek. Like how much water had to come down that waterfall there to completely strip all of those trees of any leaves all the way over there. All the trees over here are like pushed right back. Like I can only imagine the water level must have been up to about there. Like, Pretty incredible. 